It's, it's Jake here. Uh, uh, I'm filling in for Rivet here uh, uh, for Swamp Thump. Yeah, Swamp Thump. Uh, well, anyhow, I guess uh, him and his girlfriend Lily, <laughs> they uh, they went to hang out at her pad. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> anyhow, uh, we got a we got a good show. We've got DJ Roddy from 97.3 Radio FM. Sounds pretty good. Well, anyhow, let's let's bring him on out. Here's DJ Audi. And we're gonna welcome G G A Audi Colon. Here he Cologne. is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Cologne. Cologne. <laughs> <laughs> like perfume. There you go. I can smell you then. I don't, I don't <laughs> see him yet. <laughs> I don't see you yet, Audi. Well, huh? Audi well, 5000. I, Audi 5000. I see you guys, huh? All right. You won't go ahead, Captain. Give her a give her a go. Give her a go. Hey, Audi. I want to know about your uh, little fling with Martha Quinn there. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Are you going to be one of the original VJs of MTV? Well, uh, it's funny you should say that. Ask that question, <laughs> Captain. Um, <laughs> when uh, I got the privilege of doing an internship in year one that MTV launched, uh, I got to know all the VJs and got to be a part of just every aspect of production. And Martha and I kind of we became kind of close friends, but I was a little starstruck at the time. So, um, you know, wherever she went, I went. And uh, but you always had these rock and roller guys around like, uh, you know, Eddie Van Halen. And uh, so just cool. that, yeah, it was very cool. That is cool. But, but at, and I did audition because at one point they wanted to get a little Latin Asian flavor in there. And because I am Hispanic, I, I did an interview for them and uh, they told me, thank you, but you're not Hispanic enough. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Underqualified. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's okay. Oh. It all worked out in the end. Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been at the surf? I've been uh, at the surf for about two and a half years now. I uh, originally started off uh, by becoming their sponsor rep, helping them to raise money for the station. As you know, the station is a non-for-profit uh, 501c3, mm -hmm. and we get no money from the government or anybody else. It's all donations, and um, we're not allowed to do advertising, but we do sponsorships, similar to what uh, public television does. Got it.
Check out Captain D's video, Ode to a Tear. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> Okay. All right. So you've and been then, on radio for quite a while now. Uh, no, actually, <laughs> now it's funny. That's another funny thing that you caught on to because when I was in college, radio was where I wanted to go. And then after I graduated college and was exposed to MTV, I had been in video from that time on 
until 19, or actually 2013. Wow. And it wasn't until I got here uh, in Flagler Beach where I started you know, just working with the station. And then an opportunity came where they had a three hour slot on a Saturday, which this month, I, I, um, my, it's my second anniversary. Wow, wow. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My mom always said I had a face for radio. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's that's why I do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Audie, back in the day, and I do mean back in the day, like way back in the day, mm -hmm. I worked at WELEFM out of Daytona Beach. Oh, really? And um, I was radio traffic man. I was radio traffic manager, mm -hmm. and um, I did all of the logs for the FCC, and um, I also did an awful lot of. Um, uh, radio spots whenever they needed a voice you know nice. they'd throw me in the in the booth and I I was doing almost all of Shakespearean um, car stereos I, I was the voice for them <laughs> for a long time <laughs> and the pay was great right so we have something in common pardon me I said and the pay was great <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the thing, the, the cool thing about it was, is that we always were on the inside track, uh, you know, infield at the track, um, and we were doing radio loops all the time. Um, I got to meet uh, Richard Petty, and um, Kale Yarborough was my favorite driver, you know, um, yeah. I, but I got to meet a lot of the drivers, and um I think my favorite thing was going to the fourth turn and just standing on the ground at the fourth turn. And mm -hmm. as the cars are going by, and watching the whole, them all the ground just, just shakes. It just shakes. Yeah, just yeah. Watching yeah. Them pile I love that too. You know, that too. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward <laughs> yeah. to uh, getting to the, but, the, the racetrack there. I haven't been there yet. Yeah. Oh, you got to do that. But oh, we yeah, also, especially we Daytona. Also, um, when, uh, oh, yeah. When uh, the radio station had, uh, we had a basketball game with uh, with the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh wow! And yeah. it was the our That's DJs. Cool. Our DJs were best. Well, they were playing at City Island Park on the baseball diamond, and mm -hmm. Metal, Metal Heart Clemen was there. He signed my T-shirt, and right. um, anyway, but they were the funniest guys. But you know, the pay was okay because I did get, I was a full-time employee. So I, you know, I got paid and got medical and all of that. And, um, but the, the best part of it was meeting all the people, you yeah. know, you just got to meet so many different people. And this one morning I was, I was got there before the receptionist got in and uh, phone rang and it was early and Larry was on, on air and, um, uh, Anyway, so uh, phone rang and I said, good morning, W-E-L-E-F-M, may I help you? And she goes, good morning, darling. I said, yes, ma'am. She goes, this here is Loretta Lynn. I about lost it right there, you know, but I, I you know, it was a country station. We got to meet a lot of people. Um, I got to meet Shania Twain when she, she was 17 when I met right. her. And right, right. Um, that wow. was when they were doing, um, um, wow. she was with. Uh, Little Texas and um, the Matthew. Young and uh, um, the, oh, yeah. Um, Charlie Daniels never made it to that show. He was scheduled to be on, and mm -hmm. um, he never made it to the show. He was at the Adam Mark, and he couldn't get there. Mm -hmm. And uh, But anyway, it was a live show uh, for Nashville, and mm -hmm. uh, we, were, we were fortunate enough to be able to be involved in all that stuff and help sponsor it. So radio was really good to me. And so, you know, I hope you have a great career in it. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so far so good, huh? Yeah, no, I'm I'm having a blast and uh and because we don't have a very structured format, I mean, we have a theme of that sunshine radio station, you know, yeah. feel good stuff, but I'm a, I'm a rocker at heart. So I like pulling out the Led Zeppelin and the Black Sabbath and every oh, yeah. now and then Oh yeah, and I'll get phone calls going. I haven't heard that in years, and we're we're tired of our local radio station just playing the same cookie cutter stuff. Right, same oldies oh, sure. but goodies. 
Right. Well, you know, <clears throat> yeah. when everything got, when everything got to the point where it was all syndicated, you know, and, and, and all the radio stations, you know, everything was run out of California. Back when I was in radio, we were using eight track, eight tracks oh, yeah. on the board. Oh yeah. And I mean, we, we have racks of eight tracks and, you know, yeah, so I you eight know, tracks. I'm, I'm telling my age a little bit, but <laughs> you know, things have changed a lot, yeah. but being an independent radio station is a really good thing. You know, I like independence, but I'm also a hard rocker and a blues person. I like, I like the blues a lot. Yeah, um, same here. And, and country wasn't what I wanted to get into because it was just me getting a job, you know? Yeah. I mean, so uh, I wasn't into the country music as much, but, you know, my mom was <laughs> big yeah. time. But yeah, yeah. Um, how did you get started, Audie? In in what which which career? <laughs> well, which one? take it from the top. I mean, you know. <laughs> well, you pick right it. Out of, well, right out of college, that 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 la the year before MTV launched, I had an internship getting them started, and then when they launched and I graduated, that's when the I guess the pedal hit the metal, and it was. Tele MTV and videos and all this stuff. And then um, as I, oh, wow, I'm reminiscing. Did you, did you major in communications in college? Yeah, actually, yes, yes, I did. I okay. majored in communications, minored in journalism and film. And thank God the, uh, the local university had a small low broadcast radio station and a, and a TV teaching, te teaching TV studio. So I was able to kind of get my hands and an introduction to yeah. you know, a little bit of what a TV studio looked like and felt like and what a radio station felt like and looked like. And I, again, as I said earlier, I was leaning more toward um, the, the radio aspect of it, but MTV just kind of blew things out of the water. And like you, Cindy, meeting all those celebrities, man, there, there wasn't a day I didn't meet somebody <laughs> whose music and face and yeah. band that I didn't know. And uh, again, just starstruck, yeah. kid out of college, just watching these people come and go. And, and, you know, they're regular folks like us, but people used to tell me, I would die to have traded places with you. Yeah, that's a cool story. No doubt. Thanks. Yeah. And then that from there really on, cool. I, I just, I freelanced in a lot of uh, music videos. And uh, I just learned all the aspects of, of television production and film production. So I've done a number of TV shows and commercials and, you know, just odd and end things on a freelance basis because New York is one of the best places to be other than Los Angeles and, you know, now and I believe Orlando's coming up as uh, one of the top five places to have TV and production right. facilities. No, no, I'll wait up here. Hey, what was it like
You definitely have a, a good right. radio voice. Um, give me your best radio pitch for DJ Audi. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. Uh, let me – where's the vodka? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've got it hiding somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's here somewhere. Here's um, – Oh well, this is what I kind of practice when I'm in the in the in the shower. <laughs> um, hi, this is DJ Audi from Surf ninety seven point three FM, and I'll be on every Saturday from twelve until three PM playing your golden oldie island music, sunshine music, at request. No other radio station does that here in the United States of America, <laughs> and something like that. <laughs> wow, that's good. That's good. I'll give you a golf clap. All right. I'm ready for that. That's great. I'll buy that. Hey, Captain, you got your wheel? Uh, You got your wheel, Captain? Hey, Audie. Audie 5000, you know what time it is? What time is it, Captain? It's time for the Wheel of Fun. No. All right, here we go. Let me get that thing out. Here we go. Spin number one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let me hear it. I can't hear you. I am ready, Captain. (laughs) (laughs) Bada boom, bada bing. (laughs) Do your best creature impersonation. <laughs> that was pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you. All right. I, I think we have a we have a creature double for you there in your next film, Casey. Hey, I'd be happy to fill in. Uh-huh. We got a stunt double. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, here we go. go. We're gonna go for handle. spin wow. number two. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, this looks like a long one. Uh-oh. That's what she said. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're going to like this. You're going to okay. really like this. Well, we can't see you doing it, so there's no visual proof. Oh, there you go. I have to cancel Uh, this question. I I think that's a good idea. While rubbing your belly and patting your your forehead, (laughs) sing the chorus of your favorite song. I want a whole lot of love. Oh, that's Uh, difficult to do when we can't see it. I know, we have no visual evidence. (laughs) I know, but I was trying to go for it. I was I'm going to have to get forensics so on that. What did you say? Tap your stomach, rub your head, and <laughs> sing your favorite chorus, right? Yeah. I want to see the creature and the uh, keeper doing that right now. Favorite song, patting your head and rubbing your belly. Oh, Ready? Boy. One, two, That's three. <laughs> want a whole lot of love. By the light. Yeah. Want a whole lot of love. Of the silvery moon. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Well, this has been a very All good right, uh, that thing again. audio version. All right. Are you ready for spin number three? I Who am. said they're ready? I am, I am, I am. Ready. Ready. I heard that. All right. Give me a good one. <laughs> Give me a good one. Oh, oh. What is one of your secret talents? Please keep it clean. This is a family show. <laughs> oh, well, then I can't answer it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's what I figured. <laughs> um, <laughs> secret talents. Oh, wow. Um, Something hmm. we can hear. You, something that you can hear. Um, I, well, you know what? Okay. One of my secret talents is um, I know that, that little kids like impersonations. And 
I always liked Donald Duck for some reason. And I always wanted to, to imitate Donald Duck. So I practiced for the longest time and I just couldn't do it. And I would hear these guys and they would be able to articulate with that duck language, if you will. Yeah. And um, I haven't perfected it, but the one thing that I was able to perfect was the Donald Duck sneeze and these kids go hysterical. <laughs> so here, <I'm clears throat> live and in color. <clears throat> All right, here's my Donald Duck sneeze. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Just for you that, you've earned a bonus back. spin. Okay. Here we All right. Go. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Move back two spaces. Uh, <laughs> okay, we've already asked it. Uh, okay, so what are, everybody wants to know what are 33 and a third, 45, and 72? And they're not measurements, by the way. <laughs> no, they're, they're not measurements, but why should I be answering? I know, obviously I know... But but for our audience, our oh. audience would like to know. Okay. You, you don't happen to have that that video that that, that picture of the uh, the thirty three, forty five, and seventy eight, do you? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Those are the three speeds of that we as dinosaurs that we are. <laughs> Played and listened to our music. So it's uh, 45 um, RPM, 33 RPM, and what's the other one? 46? 70, <laughs> 70, uh, 72. I was, I was Maybe that's my age. Maybe I messed up. That's my dogs. age. <laughs> oh, and I, I, I actually own about a dozen 78s that I inherited from my great-grandfather when he used to, you know, crank the Victrola when I was a kid. <laughs> That's cool. You and know, they're making a heavy. comeback. All these vinyl records are making a really cool comeback. They are, and they are expensive, though. Yeah, they outsold CDs last year, oh, yeah. as a matter of fact. I did not know that. Yeah, they outsold. Everybody's buying the vinyl. Well, That's if you've got the money, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What do you guys do at the station? Is it well, all listen. digital? Uh, yes, it, it, it is all digital, but we try to give the impression that we are a 60s genre radio station. Right. And, um, you know, we, we never refer to going to the computer or, you know, you know any of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of wish uh, we could do what you mentioned earlier about the A-tracks, because in college, that's what we had. We had all of these, what, they were actually called CARTS, C-A-R-T-S. They look yeah. like eight tracks. Correct. Yep. So uh, correct. Yeah, it's all digital. And um, uh, thank God if uh, someone can't make it to the station on time, we can go on automatic pilot. So it'll sound like someone is in the station. And there have been a number of times where I've either run out of gas, had a flat tire, was hung over. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and, um, but we are on 24 seven and the only hindrance for us not being on the air is because the, the studio is literally located at the, um, the mouth of the Flagler Beach Pier on, over the beach on the ocean there. Oh, and wow. we get, yeah, so we, we have a great view. Yeah, it's a beautiful that. location, but I'll tell you, the, the elements will do damage to your equipment. Oh yeah, and, for sure. That's all yeah, there. So, yeah, and then occasionally the internet goes out, but yeah. we, we transmit over the air, 97.3 FM, and then we also go live uh, worldwide via the technology of the internet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you want to check out this premiere from, from, from Kilty Creatures' new production, his new movie called uh, Turn Around. Turn around, it's me. Check it out. <laughs> there are many strange legends in the Amazon. Even I, Lucas, have heard the legend.
Um, I know that, that little kids like impersonations and I always liked Donald Duck for some reason. And I always wanted to, to imitate Donald Duck. So I practiced for the longest time and I just couldn't do it. And I would hear these guys and they would be able to articulate with that duck language, if you will. Yeah. And um, I haven't perfected it, but the one thing that I was able to perfect was the Donald Duck sneeze and these kids go hysterical. <laughs> so here, <I'm clears throat> live and in color. <clears throat> All right, here's my Donald Duck sneeze. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Just for you that, you've earned a bonus back. spin. Okay. Here we All right. Go. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Move back two spaces. Uh, <laughs> okay, we've already asked it. Uh, okay, so what are, everybody wants to know what are 33 and a third, 45, and 72? And they're not measurements, by the way. <laughs> no, they're, they're not measurements, but why should I be answering? I know, obviously I know... But but for our audience, our oh. audience would like to know. Okay. You, you don't happen to have that that video that that, that picture of the uh, the thirty three, forty five, and seventy eight, do you? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Those are the three speeds of that we as dinosaurs that we are. <laughs> Played and listened to our music. So it's uh, 45 um, RPM, 33 RPM, and what's the other one? 46? 70, <laughs> 70, uh, 72. I was, I was Maybe that's my age. Maybe I messed up. That's my dogs. age. <laughs> oh, and I, I, I actually own about a dozen 78s that I inherited from my great-grandfather when he used to, you know, crank the Victrola when I was a kid. <laughs> That's cool. You and know, they're making a heavy. comeback. All these vinyl records are making a really cool comeback. They are, and they are expensive, though. Yeah, they outsold CDs last year, oh, yeah. as a matter of fact. I did not know that. Yeah, they outsold. Everybody's buying the vinyl. Well, That's if you've got the money, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What do you guys do at the station? Is it well, all listen. digital? Uh, yes, it, it, it is all digital, but we try to give the impression that we are a 60s genre radio station. Right. And, um, you know, we, we never refer to going to the computer or, you know, you know any of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of wish uh, we could do what you Cindy had mentioned earlier about the A-tracks, because in college, that's what we had. We had all of these, what, they were actually called CARTS, C-A-R-T-S. They look yeah. like eight tracks. Correct. Yep. So uh, correct. yeah, it's all digital, and um, uh, thank God if uh, someone can't make it to the station on time, we can go on automatic pilot. So it'll sound like someone is in the station. And there have been a number of times where I've either run out of gas, had a flat tire, was hungover. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and um, but. We are on 24 seven and the only hindrance for us not being on the air is because the, the studio is literally located at the, um, the mouth of the Flagler Beach Pier on, over the beach on the ocean there. Oh, and wow. we get, yeah, so we, we have a great view. Yeah, it's a beautiful that. location, but I'll tell you, the, the elements will do damage to your equipment. Oh yeah, and, for sure. That's all yeah, there. So, yeah, and then occasionally the internet goes out, but yeah. we, we transmit over the air, 97.3 FM, and then we also go live uh, worldwide via the technology of the internet. Yeah, yeah. That, that so do you, um, you want to tell the folks what your, do you want to tell the folks what your, um, your uh, request hotline number is? Oh sure, I, you know what? I got to look it up because I don't I don't memorize that stuff. <laughs> okay, 
All right. Um, the station is called The Surf at 97.3 FM. And the request hotline on, well, for tw it's 24 7, but for my show specifically, because I want you to listen to me, <laughs> is <laughs> area code 386. <laughs> 6434732 and i'm i'm on every saturday that's, from 12 until awesome. noon eastern thank you thank you cool hey thanks well, for being on the show man that was mm -hmm. we had a good time hey i appreciate you asking me i'd love to come yeah. on with video next time yes yes well, absolutely. yeah ah. for sure <laughs> hey um audi i i um I'm pro I'm gonna send you a, a message in Messenger, okay? Okay. And um, I I don't know what your plans are are for May seventh, but um, that's the weekend that we're going to be doing the filming for the movie, and, oh, and we great. wanted to know if you'd like to come up. Uh, you know what? I will clear my schedule to do that. Well, it's, it's May the the weekend of May seventh. Okay. And um, we're going to be going to um, North Carolina. Uh, we'll film in South Carolina, North Carolina. And um, you'll probably hear about it, too, um, on other things. So um, we have our friends in Scotland. They're going to be doing um, drone footage for us in Scotland. And they're also going to be doing a skit in a bar for us in Scotland in a pub. And then we've got John Agar the third. He's going to do a cameo as well, um, and he'll be doing his cameo from LA. And so, you know, we'd love to have you come up. John Michael Roddy is going. Um, J Michael Roddy is going to be here. Um, yep. He's going to be the doctor of what we're going to be doing, and and we're going on an expedition. An expedition. Excellent, excellent. Sounds like a hoot. Yeah, so we needed another we needed another first mate. So we uh, I, we got <laughs> to thinking captain, about it. Don't you know. <laughs> we wanted to ask you if you wanted to come. Okay, well I'm yes, marking my we'll calendar now. The captain. Yes, I'm marking the calendar now for May. Okay, 7th. so it's May seventh and eighth. Mm -hmm. May seventh and eighth. Okay. Nice Yeah, we'll do a Thursday night script reading. Um, okay. If you're available Thursday night. RJ can, um, he can get you the script, okay? And you can run through the script with us too, okay? That'd be great. I look forward. Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be um, probably about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes or so long because we wanna keep it in the fashion as Universal Studios. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that works for me. That's gonna be a good cast. Oh, we go. Really good. But you're going to love, you're going to love where you're going to go and what you're going to see and what you're going to do and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, well, but, you, and you um, just like I told everybody, if, if the movie sells, because if the movie sells and everybody that is a part of it is still, everybody will get equal shares, everybody, oh. equal shares, okay. you know, so. Hey, I'm doing it. You, I, I'm you get doing it fish. The love that I have for you, you guys. You get fish. <laughs> you get fish and you'll Do like I? it. <laughs> it's always that fish. It's, it's always, always fish. fish. Always fish. <laughs> always. Yeah, yeah. All pillars. Nothing but fish. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, Audie, I was gonna write to you this evening, and I was gonna ask you. Now I just thought, well, I'll just ask him while I've got him on live. There, there you go. <laughs> well, now you don't have to worry about it. Just send me the info and we'll take it from there. Awesome. All right. That sounds like a plan. Well, once again, thank like you, sir, plan. for being on the show. And everybody, make sure you listen to 97.3 Rocks Surf Radio. That's from right. Flagler Beach. Ah. Ah. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks for being <laughs> right on. Here. Take care, guys. We'll thank you a lot. In a little while and, and probably tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. Ah, ah, see you, Captain. Yeah. I love you. Ah, Tell the princess you love her. Oh, I will. <laughs> Take care. Take care, now. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. You bet.
Hey, y'all, I'm back. Hey, listen, I got some uh, interesting stuff to show you. And the first thing that I'm going to start with is something brand new that got released this last week. So I'm going to show you our new Kilted Creature comic book. And guess what? Casey's selling them for 50 cents. And you got to pay for the shipping. And I think it's like two bucks. So anyway, it's got quite a lot of cool things inside of it. I'll just give you a real quick glance real quick to the center page. Anyway, if you guys are interested, get hold of KC on Facebook. Okay, next on the line, of course, is the Trilogy. And the trilogy is all three albums that the Kilted Creature created. It took three years. There are 39 tunes on the three CDs. And the first one is uh, all about the first movie and the second and the third. And you can follow along with the music to the movies. And it tells all about love and it talks about the murder and the mayhem, and it talks all about everything that happened um, in all three movies. So anyway, and then there's a compilation book also, and it has all the lyrics to the words of all the original tunes. And we're also having this little thing that uh, Casey wanted to do for everybody to color a page out of his Kilter Creature coloring book and to um, send it to him because we're going to put you guys all in another issue um, with the coloring of your of your different pages and um, from the book okay next and if you guys are interested kilted creature captain d and myself we all have our own shop glasses and see, it's got our figurines on the front of them, and then our names are on the back. These guys are $10 a piece, or you can get um, all three of them for $25, plus shipping, of course. And the coloring book is $5. The trilogy is $20, and you get 39 tunes with that. Also, we've got Kilted Creature Swamp Sauce. And we, these guys are flying off the shelves, too. So anyway, um, if you guys are interested, we have Raging Water and we have Revenge. And the green one, is, you could put it on your eggs, you could put it on your meatloaf, you can do just about anything with it. And it's, it's got a little tang to it, but not real bad. Um, the chocolate habanero, though, if you want to get hot, this is the stuff, okay? But you can mix them together. And we're still working on doing our um, cookbook. So if you guys get the hot sauce, and the, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take your recipes and we're going to put all of them into another uh, category. And it's going to be um, a cookbook that's got all of our favorite fans and people that buy our swamp sauce and, and uh, in there and I've got a recipe too so if you guys want to do that that'd be great 